Aloha, welcome. Thank you for coming to my live stream event on Facebook. Today is July 26th. Man, has this month went quickly. I am honored to be with you today. My name is Master Paul Fletcher and I am at Master Shaw's Dow Healing Center here in Honolulu. Uh, I have been gone for about the last uh, 10 days actually. I was in Toronto, Canada with my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. and Master Zigong Sha. And so it has been nothing short of a whirlwind when you're with Dr. and Master Sha. It's like grabbing onto a rocket and then holding on with everything you've got. So this week has been extraordinary, extraordinary. And so um, I hope very much to bring this to you today to assist you in getting the most value out of what I was able to get out of this last week. So welcome C. John, welcome Nevadita, great to see you both, great to see you Nevadita at the retreat. Welcome Cynthia Marie, welcome Kristen, uh, welcome Carrie, welcome uh, again Cynthia Marie, yes. So happy to see you all. I'm very excited. I have to actually um, uh, tune down my excitement. Sometimes I talk too fast and it's not easy for someone where English is not their first language. <coughs> yes, I agree, Kristen. I understand. It's a lot to internalize. I was reading uh, the book, The uh, uh, Soul Over Matter book on the airplane flight a little bit here a little bit there until I managed to leave it in the seat so I had to make some requests and prayers today so that I received that book back because it's a very special one <coughs> but um, from what I was able to read the first four or five chapters it was quite extraordinary Aloha welcome Carrie great to have you join us so as I was saying the event itself was truly extraordinary um, tremendous uh, blessings were, were offered throughout the event. Just being in the field was such a huge, huge blessing. Truly, um, you know, even just being here right now in Master Shaw's Dow Healing Center, the moment I turned on the live stream and started connecting, all the holy beings came. My crown chakra lit up, my nose is itching. They are here and they are here to serve you. So today will be loaded with very big blessings and very big opportunities for some insights and wisdom. So a little bit later in the, in the uh, uh, live streaming, I will do some soul readings. <clears throat> and we'll ask both uh, uh, Ami Tofu and loved Kuan Yin to offer their guidance for you. So welcome Stephanie, welcome Johnny, welcome Anne-Marie, great to see you all. Um, I've actually uh, missed you guys, I missed everyone, I felt um, like I wasn't able to connect to my family, you know, while I was gone. I had the whole family there, uh, but almost every day, right around 2 o'clock, I'm like, you know, something doesn't feel right. I'm not able to connect with my, my Facebook family. So I'm really happy to be reconnected with all of you here. <coughs> so um, what I'd like to do first is go ahead and call in all the holy beings, even though they're present, to connect heart to heart soul to soul with you as well and let us have the highest possibility of value received here today. So please connect with me placing your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dear our beloved spiritual teacher, Father, Master Shah, to Master Shah's original soul, dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, up to Master Shah's original soul standing. To the countless souls, temple souls, animals, saints, and more, all the calligraphy souls here at Master Shah's Tao Healing Temple here in Honolulu. The soul of the uh, Lingguang calligraphy, the countless saints, animals, and temple souls behind us here. Please come at this time. Please offer your blessings as appropriate to connect to everybody on the line. Help us to open our heart. Please bless me to receive on the line and whatever they need most so make your requests for what you need this whole hour is a blessing especially while we're in the temple so make sure you make your requests for what it is you would like 
And we thank all of you from the bottom of our heart for your incredible service to us. We truly uh, do not have the respect and the gratitude necessary for all that you do for us. You save our lives, you open our hearts, you forgive us, you, you help us to not make errors again and again. You give us wisdom and insights when we're about to do something that's not appropriate. And you do this so selflessly. We thank you so much. And then please also do this forgiveness practice with me. Dear all souls, repeat, dear all souls. <coughs> dear my ancestors, please come. Call forth your ancestors because they need to do forgiveness practice with you. Dear my ancestors, please come. Dear uh, repeat, dear my ancestors, please do this forgiveness practice with me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to any of you, to your loved ones, to people that you care about, if we have brought suffering to you or your loved ones in any way, I humbly and sincerely apologize. It is my greatest regret to know that it is possible I could have brought harm to any souls. And I have learned my lessons. I sincerely ask for forgiveness. I know that any suffering that I have experienced in this life, that it is truly possible that I have caused that suffering upon you or others. And I want you to know I have learned my lessons. I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. And I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. If you have harmed me or my loved ones, my ancestors. We release you of any karmic debt you have to us. And we ask you to consider releasing us of our karmic debt to you. We can be far better servants, far greater value to humanity if we do not have this karmic debt with us. We thank you. So let us please sing Love, Peace, Harmony together to release these blockages. We're going to do two rounds today. They're the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted all souls and all universes to all the souls we've called forth. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask that you please turn on and chant with us as we connect to release these blockages. So let us chant two rounds. Lula, Lula, li. La lu la la li la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la with all your heart I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in early. Oh, I tried and lay. On Ling Rung, her bushesong. Song I ping on her shed. Song I ping on her shed. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank you, Divine, Tao, Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you to countless souls who have come. We invite you to stay. All of those souls that we might have harmed in all lifetimes, please stay to feel our heart and soul of service so that you can feel comfortable to forgive us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome everyone. Uh, welcome Allison, welcome Rian, welcome Amy and Crystal. I think a few others have come in, but I can't see you as something about maybe if you're on an iPad uh, or something like that. It doesn't show up for some reason. Kristen Rojas told me that. She might actually be watching. Um, so I apologize if I haven't acknowledged you. There you are, Yvonne. I figured that you might have been here because you typically watch on an iPad. So welcome to all of you. I love you all. I'm so excited to be here to serve you today. Um, I would like to open by offering soul readings and guidance. We will ask uh, whoever wants to speak, but we'll, we'll ask Guan Yin and Ami Tofu, since that's what the retreat was about, to offer any guidance. So I saw Kristen ask a question earlier, Kristen uh, Strachan, and she said, I would very much appreciate a soul reading regarding my finances and where she stands with that. Okay, <clears throat> so let us go ahead and move forward. Aloha Tina, Aloha Monica, great to see you both. <clears throat> Aloha Wakir. So, dear the soul of Kristen, Strachan, Strachan, Kristen's Heavens Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, the soul of Christian's question, could you please be present? We love you, Ani, respect you. Please, at this time, uh, Pose your questions so that beloved Amitofu or Kuan Yin can assist. Dear beloved Amitofu, dear beloved Kuan Yin, we love you, Ani, respect you, bow down to you. I ask for you to please, as appropriate, offer guidance for Kristen's question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Ling Wei Sheng Shure. My dear Kristen, while you were at the retreat, I came to you many times. I asked my 87 incarnations to serve you. I asked them to help to clear many blockages that were related to lifetimes when you in those lifetimes were not of good service, especially in finance and business. There were quite a few blockages that were cleared about 35 lifetimes of suffering just from the blessings that were requested through the one known as Master Shah. These blessings that you received have actually cleared a path for you to successfully move forward with your intentions. You must find a way, dear one, to employ the soul healing abilities, the existing calligraphies both in the books and otherwise, into your community. It is not so much to be a teacher or to be a healer directly. It is for you more about doing what you love and incorporating this in it. When you do this, the additional karma will be cleared and finances will continue to prosper. Your master has said very clearly, serve, money will come. The blessings you received at the retreat allowed you to move forward now with greater ease. Do not be inhibited by the how do I's. Move into what you do best. Realize how to incorporate what you have into that. That is the key. You are very loved. This is Ling Gui Sheng Shi. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, my eyes are closed. More people showing up. Great. Welcome uh, Pat, welcome Stephanie, welcome Jota, welcome dear Kristen. Okay, let me scroll back to some other questions. Welcome Kathy Schneider. Um, let's see. 
Yvonne says, soul reading, please, for any guidance. To the soul of Yvonne, do whatever guidance is most appropriate for Yvonne to hear at this time. This is Amitofu for you, my dear Ivan. You are focused too much on business building instead of heart building. Shift your focus to build others' hearts. Connect to them heart to heart. The remainder of your life will flourish. This is my message to you. How? Thank you, Amitofu. And Carrie Mc McGurty says, please offer guidance on her spiritual journey if they want me to do anything in particular for the spiritual journey. Okay. Dear the soul of Carrie, Carrie's soul of Carrie's question, her heaven's teams, the soul of highest and best deity to answer this question for Carrie. Could you please come forth at this time? Borrow my mouth. Assist our beloved Carrie for this answer relating to her soul journey. Hey, uh, yeah, you. For our dear Carrie, and this is your heavens team, Carrie. It is very important that you trace the calligraphies. Locate the ten da and trace each one for three minutes minimum with your dawn. If you do not have those, then use the newest book with the Da Ai and Da Quan Shu and trace a minimum of 10 minutes each with your Don. While you are tracing, ask for forgiveness. Be in a place of forgiveness while you trace. Ask for forgiveness for all those times, for example, with Da Ai, for all the times you have held back your love. All the times you have inhibited others' love, not accepted others' love, harmed others in loving relationships, etc., etc. There are many ways in which we fail to receive and harm others from receiving love. The same with forgiveness. By using this existing tool, you will expand your soul journey dramatically because you are self-clearing karma for the present uh, conditions. And in doing this practice consistently and daily, you will allow your vehicle, your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual vehicle to remain in alignment. You will notice less um, negative thinking. You will notice greater uh, synchronicity in the way life brings each moment to you and a greater alignment in all of your actions without the mind stuff that you sometimes experience. This is how you maintain your spiritual journey and we suggest this wisdom for all who are watching. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you too for that great wisdom. And so Nevadita says, Dear Master Paul, I would really like a reading for my health at present and the most important information I need. Very grateful. Okay. To the soul of Nevadita, our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, the soul of this question regarding what is most pertinent for her to know about her health at present and what is most needed. <laughs> For our beloved Nevedita, you have a unique con it's not a condition, but it's a it's literally almost like a five element condition in which if one element is brought into balance, the others have to be brought into balance or the ones that aren't will trigger another problem. So it's like this cycle in which they if they're not all kept in balance, they'll remain out of balance. So now I can, I can speak. 
for our dear Navadita. Your heart and your lungs, fire and metal elements, carry a great deal of imbalance, but it is also as a result of the other elements not communicating well. Some are weak, others are overzealous. For you, dear one, play the five element CD often, uh, practice from the Tao Song Tao Dance Book specifically for the five elements, and employ any calligraphy specifically for those that you can find, including checking the videos on demand if appropriate. By being more vigilant for these uh, these two, but for all of them equally, you will find a consistency in uh, your health. There is nothing overly uh, drastic at this time that cannot be dealt with um, through these practices. These are our suggestions to you at this time. How? And that was your Heavens team. So, Kathy asks for guidance regarding her relationships ships right now. I humbly ask for clarity. Um, that's very general, Kathy. I'll do the best I can. If you, <clears throat> we don't need specific names, but you could say, for example, boyfriend, husband, um, daughter, something like that. It's a little more specific helps, um, but I'll do the best I can. The soul of Kathy's relationships, uh, the soul of what she is truly wanting to discover or understand in this question. Could you please be present? Dear Lingwei Shengshu or Amitofu, could you please assist? Thank you. So what they're showing me, Kathy, is, is, is really odd. I had to ask what it meant. They're showing me teeth. And they're showing me that some of the teeth have decay, some of the teeth need a, a, a new crown, some of the teeth are fine, no problem. And when I said, well, what does this mean? It's, it's saying that many of your relationships are like a, 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 a mouth with these kinds of conditions in it, that some need more attention than others and some are just fine. And that there's one, one and a half that has some decay going on. Um, and they're saying uh, to communicate open-heartedly, to, um, to be very, very open-hearted, and to listen much better to what is being said. And listening is uh, reflecting and reflecting and reflecting until they're completely said everything they have to say. And then that would be very cathartic. There's, there's one person specifically and then a kind of a half different person. They're saying do practice soul communication Ask their souls to come, talk to their souls, um, and use the Da Ai and Da Quan Shu in the new book. Um, they're very powerful, and just, you know, trace them and ask them to help transform the blockages. That's all I'm getting for now. Hopefully that serves you. Okay, so Rianne, I would like a soul reading for my spiritual journey. Okay. To the soul of Rianne, the soul of Rianne's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, beloved Amitofu, beloved Kuan Yin. Whoever is appropriate, could you please offer guidance for Rianne's soul journey at this time? Thank you. <coughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Uh, 
I'm, I'm feeling very, very um, disappointed because I cannot remember the name of the Buddha, but it's the Buddha, um, the India Buddha with the elephant nose. How? My dear Rian, thank you for honoring me. Thank you for requesting for my service to you. Thank you for thinking of your mother and your other family members and asking for them also. You worry about finances. But what you fail to do, dear one, is request this for others. You must do that which you have the least of for others. So, my encouragement to you is to call me and ask me to serve all those that have great poverty, that are in need of a meal, of fresh water, of enough money to go to the market to get a loaf of bread for the week. Pay attention to others who have less and call upon me to bless them. Do this with all your heart with no intention to receive every day. This will release you of the blockages you feel in your heart, in your soul journey, in your finances, and in virtually every aspect of your life because you feel that you cannot move forward with what you want until you have the financial foundation. It is actually in reverse. When you serve others in the areas you suffer, your foundation will be there and the problems will self-dissolve. This is Ganesh. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ganesh. Thank you for your giving me your name at the end of the flow. <laughs> so hopefully that served you, Ryan. So see, John says, gosh, I would love any guidance on my finances as well. I have been doing a lot of work on it. Okay? So do the soul of C. John, her heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, the soul of her question on finances and what is will best serve her. Please offer any additional guidance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. This is Ling Wei Sheng Shi. For our dear Si John, your heart is opening more and more. For you, dear one, open your heart more to your teacher, Master Sha. You still have some concerns in juxtaposition to your born belief system. It is important for you to know that in heaven, all the holy beings are one, brothers and sisters. They do not judge, label, orient, criticize, or partition. They serve equally. When you comprehend that and allow yourself to align abundance and blessings, how do you do that? Practice the ten das in all that you do. Chant, trace the ten das. These will help to release the blockages and help you to see that everything you have ever learned with the one known as Christ is also equal in these teachings. No difference. This alignment will serve you well. This is Ling Gui Sheng Shi. Hao, hao, hao. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that, that message from Ling Wei Sheng Shi helps you out, Sijan. Walk your Okay, she would like a reading for the aspect of life that is most appropriate for her at this time. Countless bow downs. To the soul of Wakyur, the soul of whatever is most pertinent for her at this time. 
Please be present. Yeah, the answer is right there immediately. So what it is for you, Walker, is relationships. You have such a pure open heart, such a, um, a giving open heart that it gets hurt easily. And um, so one of the things that I'm hearing for you is to, it's important to have your heart foundation in your connection to divine and source. Put all of your foundation in that. Then you have unlimited heart to give. Some may hurt it, some may not. But if it is hurt, because you have this strong foundation, it, it will not be as painful as things have been in the past for you when someone harms you in that way. You have such a pure and open heart that it's necessary to have that foundation so that you don't continue to get harmed when you're not expecting it. So that's your message. How? So Tina asks, uh, may I have a reading for my service in the mission and how to move the mission forward here in Australia? Okay. So to the soul of Tina, to the soul of the mission in Australia, the soul of uh, Tina's question about how she can best assist to move the mission forward, uh, could you all please come forth at this time, offer whatever guidance and insights for Tina can be of greatest value. Thank you. So what's needed mostly for you, Tina, is calling, call-outs. Um, assisting with the gathering of all the names and phone numbers of everybody and assisting with calling those individuals. Not to say, hey, come to this event, it's happening Thursday, da 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 No. There's assistance needed to just, hi, how are you doing? You know, my name is Tina and I'm calling to check in with you. I noticed that you're at this last event and wanted to see if there's any way we could serve you to better uh, receive the values that you hope to receive from going to that event. And when you open your heart to people like that with no necessarily intention, then they will go, well, you know, I did have a question about this, or you know, I was kind of, I wasn't sure what to think. I, I, I remember, you know, and they'll start talking to you. And then you just chat with them, okay? And if you don't have an answer, you just tell them. You know, that's a, that's a really good point. I honestly, I don't have an answer for you at this time. Um, would it be okay if I checked with one of the masters and, and, and call you back or ask them to call you back? And almost always they're gonna say, sure, because a master giving them a call to be so happy. But this is what's mostly needed over there. So that would be a great service. So thank you for that question, Tina. So Monica asks, readings about what is most appropriate for me to know now. Okay, <clears throat> did the soul of Monica, uh, the soul of this question, the soul of her heaven's teams, Ling Gui Sheng Shi, beloved Ami Tofu, to please collectively choose a spokesperson to offer this guidance for Monica at this time. <clears throat> How? My dear Monica, I am one of the servants on your heaven's team. You vacillate a bit too much with your choices. You do not feel comfortable and confident in the guidance that you receive from us, your team. It is important that you use your pendulum more and trust it more. How? By using it with many, many things. Should I go now to pick up my auntie? Or should I go after I take care of the dog? Check. When you start using it for these things, you will find that you will get greater confirmation consistently. Before you use your pendulum, 
chant soul language and ask your soul language and your divine healing hands to clear the channels for correct answers. It only takes one or two minutes. And by consistently practicing with your pendulum, you will have more confidence when you hear the messages that we give you that you are not trusting then you ask this message I just received to go do this 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 is this message accurate yes great and go do it even if it goes against what your conscious mind says heaven has a plan for you and you are extending the efficacy and speed at which the plan can occur by not listening and not trusting yourself. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that serves you, Monica. Sound like it was sage advice from your Heavens team. Okay, so Stephanie asks, please, Master Paula, so reading regarding a resolution for her car situation, which would be very much appreciated. <coughs> The message I'm hearing uh, is is it's either a let it go or um, uh, let it go or sell it or, or something along those lines. It's like um, there's too much karma in the car and it's time to, to start fresh, even if it takes you two to three months to get the funds together to get another one. Um, and you need to get a mechanic friend that can find a good one for you. One that's, you know, maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars. Um, and and he he knows he knows it's a good one. Doesn't matter the age or how pretty it is. You just need a good reliable car. So that's the message I'm getting, Steffi. Hopefully that helps you. <clears throat> so Kristen says, dear Master Paulo, be grateful to receive guidance for the current situation with my son, Percival. Okay. To the soul of her son, Percival, Kristen any additional uh, information regarding this, the soul of what is truly underlying Kristen's request, uh, whatever guidance is appropriate for her at this time. Could you please offer guidance? How? This dilemma is not yours. It is his. You need only to be a loving observer. If he asks for assistance, then you can offer without attachments. His process is his. And if it means that it creates resistance in you, attachments in you, suffering in you, then that is your problem. You deal with it equally in both ways, with unconditional love for self and the other, detachment from the outcome, and trust in the divine. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, so hopefully that assists you, Kristen. Thank you. That was from the divine. <coughs> so I'm going to do just uh, two more, I believe. Because I want to leave time for a blessing for you all, unless you don't want a blessing. You know, we can we can push it off, I'm, I'm sure, but... Um, my guess is you probably would all appreciate a blessing from something that's very special I received from the retreat. <clears throat> so Crystal asks, any messages or guidance from heaven would be greatly appreciated. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. 
yahi 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 Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Um, Crystal, you need to consider um, divine protection for your children. Um, either divine healing hands or divine protection order. Um, it's something that I can assist you with in either case, but um, the message is I, I, I saw something where um, one of the children could have a, a, an instance that is karmic related, their karma, um, that could impact them and, and you obviously negatively and uh, you wouldn't want that to happen and divine protection would, 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 would keep that from happening. So you can check me later um, we can do something a little more detailed, but that's what I can share with you for now, okay? Okay, so Cynthia Marie, I would like a soul reading for advice and guidance, and really this is the last one I can do. Uh, I would like soul guidance for advice and guidance in relationship and health. Any guidance would be greatly appreciated, okay? The soul of Cynthia Marie, her heavens teams, guides angels and saints. The soul of these questions regarding her health and finances. And whatever is appropriate for her to hear at this time, please be present. Please borrow my mouth. Assist her. This is Ling Wei Shang Shi. You are my dear Cynthia Marie have been in my family tree in one lifetime. You would what be would be called a niece in this lifetime, and we spent time together in my humble hut. We talked about many things, mostly earth-based magic, as it would be called today. This magic, this connection is still very much with you. And it would be of value for you to realign to some of those things. There are certain stones that can assist you, for example, with balancing your five elements. There is a necessity for you to be outside in nature more to just sit amongst the beauty, wherever it is, and calm yourself and breathe into every cell in your body, nature. Make time for yourself. Make time for yourself. Make time for yourself, for this. You will find it is better than any medication, diet, or supplement you could add to your body. Make time for yourself in nature 
once or twice a week where nobody can bother you. Do not allow what ifs or how to's to get in the way. Just make it happen and you will be better as a whole. This is Ling Wei Sheng Shi. How? 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 Thank you, beloved Kuan Yin. Okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, Kristen has responded. How completely perfect! I simply cannot thank you enough. My heart is so happy having received this reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful. And then Johnny says, celebrating for the most appropriate guidance. Have to cover it next time, Johnny. Thanks. Uh, Jyota would love to receive guidance for whatever is appropriate in our soul journey. Again, also Jyota, sorry, we'll have to cover it next time. Um, Yvonne says, thank you, Amitofu, for your guidance. Yes, focus more on the heart. And Pat says she would like a response as well. Um, again, sorry, Pat. We'll cover it next time. Carrie says, thank you so much, Master Paul. Oh, that's wonderful. Da'ai. Nevedita. Uh, thank you, Master Paul. And Kathy says, girlfriends. Yeah, so that sounds something related to the, to the relationships. Uh, Holly Campanuza is also watching. Welcome, Holly. Aloha. Uh, Tina He. Welcome, Tina. Si John says, may I get some guidance on my finances, please? Been doing a lot of work on it. Okay, so we did answer that already. I hope that served you. And Lily, welcome Lily, great to see you. Kathy says, perfect, thank you so much. It makes sense, good. Navadita says, Ganesh, yes, the dispeller of obstacles. Yeah, he gave me his name at the end. I didn't, I, I knew it, but it was just gone at first, but I received it in the end. Uh, uh, Avi, I love you, Avi, welcome, thank you for joining. Uh, Christy is watching, welcome, Christy. Lillian, welcome Lillian. Sorry I can't answer any questions you might have right now. And you're welcome, Rianne, for the readings. And Tara, Lily, welcome Tara. Happy to see you join. Um, and then Christy says, I wish so much to have this connection with the Divine. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful gift. You are so welcome. Stephanie says, thank you. See John, Master Paul, it just hit me that my message center is much lighter from before your show started. Wonderful, great recognition. Thank you, Divine. I always thank the Divine. Thank Master Shah. I'm just the middleman, you know, just uh, I'm blessed to be a messenger to serve you guys, but always make sure that you, you give your gratitude to Divine and, and Master Shah. Um, Jyota says, love you, Master Paul. We'd love a blessing at the end. Yeah, I'm excited. Almost there. You guys have a lot of responses. Okay. Um, Ashley is watching. Welcome, Ashley. Monica, I have forgiveness to my beloved Heavens team. Uh, Suki, welcome, Suki. And uh, for those that came in late, this is recorded. So when we stop, it'll actually become a live recording. You can go back and watch whatever might have been missed. And so Jolly is also watching. Welcome, Master Jolly. Master Jolly, congratulations to Master Jolly for being uplifted to a well-deserved position. And then, um, okay, so let's offer a blessing. So at the retreat, Dr. and Master Shah uh, transmitted power into some images and into many different things. Into this image, he transmitted huge power now this is Ling Wei Sheng Shi, and he actually put her soul in here in the form of a Ling Wei Sheng Shi Kai Gong. So this has been blessed at a very, very high level, and um, these two cards are actually Master Shah's calligraphy cards, and they have blessings in them as well. So I am going to offer each of you a blessing for your request. Remember. The secret, if you ask for others without any expectation of return, the blessings are much higher. Always remember that. So make your request. I'll give you a minute. <clears throat> Welcome, Bianca. I see you just joined us. And uh, this has been re this will be is recorded, Bianca and everybody else that came in late. So at the end, you can watch it again. <coughs> okay, complete your request.
Dear Ling Wei Sheng Shi, Da Bei Zhou, 87 Buddha, the blessings, Kai Gong, and this calligraphy. I love you, honor you, respect you, I bow down to you. Can you please, as appropriate, offer a blessing to all those that are watching at this time, all those that watch this video in the future. I am honored to offer this blessing through you. Countless bow downs. <coughs> Close your eyes, place your feet on the floor, Keep your back away from the back of the chair. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Very gently. Squeeze your anus for two or three seconds and then release. Bring your thoughts and your breath into your lower abdomen. Open up to receive. Visualizing golden light and all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and holy beings coming to you. Let us begin. <coughs> Chan Nam mô la da no do la ye ye Nam mô wo ye ye Bo lo jie di so ben la ye Pu ti sa do po ye Mo hu sa do po ye Mo hu jia lo ni jia ye Ahan Sa Mo Shi 
Thank you, beloved Lingwei Shangshir, Da Bei Zhou, 87 Buddha. Thank you to Master Sha for empowering us by placing such an incredible blessing in this photo. So we are very, very blessed. I thank you all for coming today. I know that you have many things to be doing with your time. I am honored to be here to serve you. I am grateful for this opportunity to serve you. I look forward to being here tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll be here 2 o'clock um, Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and 10 a.m. Australian. Please share this video with your friends and invite others. You know, I, we, we can't um, wake them up and assist uh, any souls to, to clear the blockages from the heart unless they know about the practices and techniques. And so this is a way in which we can, we can create that great service. So I'm honored to be a, a vessel through which this information can serve you today. I hope it did. I love you all. I appreciate you all very much. Make sure you share this video afterwards. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.